Good evening, everyone. A Marsh Valley substitute teacher in trouble tonight after she was found passed out in her classroom on Thursday. The substitute teacher, Chelsea Nichols, has public intoxication and disorderly conduct charges against her now. The Banner County Sheriff's Office is now investigating exactly how and why she was in that condition at Marsh Valley High School. Local News 8's Dennis Valera joins us now live in our Pocatello newsroom. Dennis, where does the investigation stand right now? It's still in the very early stages, Jay, since the Bannock County Sheriff's Office didn't get a chance to start investigating until this week. It's very seldom that we have this type of an event. We hope it never happens again, of course. are pretty surprised that it happened in this case. Superintendent Marvin Hansen has a daughter at Marsh Valley High, where Chelsea Nichols was subbing Thursday. He says he's as concerned as the next parent about what happened. But when the school's resource officer found Nichols disoriented, he had an ambulance take her to Port of Medical Center, then from there, jail. Hanton says it's all that could have been done. That would be a typical protocol, is, is, is to get the teacher away from any students that she might be able to harm in any way. Since the school operates on four days a week, the Bannock County Sheriff's Office couldn't start investigating until this week. Right now, they're focusing on determining exactly what was in Nichols' system. It was clear that she was under the influence of something. There were some searches done, and we're trying to find what caused the intoxication, what actually that was. Of course, we'll know for sure when a, when a uh, when that toxicology test comes back. Sheriff Nielsen says they'll have to narrow a lot of information to get down to the truth. That we find out exactly what happened, not, not any kind of speculation, but dealing strictly with facts. Sheriff Nielsen told me there could be more charges filed depending on the investigation. Live in the Pocatello Newsroom, I'm Dennis Valera. Thanks, Dennis. When she was arrested, Chelsea Nichols had a bond set at $550. She posted bond and is now free. Well, time to check in.